With health care continuing to be a key issue in the 2020 election, a new study by the Urban Institute and Commonwealth Fund looked into the cost and coverage associated with some of the proposals being talked about on the campaign trail. The Hill reports that the group did not analyze any specific proposal, but instead outlines of plans. The single-payer, or Medicare for All plan, would reduce the number of uninsured people from over 32 million to zero. According to the study, households would see large savings based on not having to pay premiums or deductibles for their health care. This is a basic outline of the plan proposed by both candidates Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren. As for the price tag, it's something Joe Biden raised in Ohio during the CNN debate. The plan is going to cost at least $30 trillion over 10 years. That is more on a yearly basis than the entire federal budget. The Urban Institute Commonwealth's Fund number nearly matched, with the group finding it would cost roughly $32 trillion over 10 years. When the study looked at the outline of plans similar to those proposed by Biden and Pete Buttigieg, it came up with a figure of $1.3 trillion over 10 years. The number of uninsured would drop from 32.2 million to 6.6 million people, which, according to the study, would be the number of people in the U.S. illegally.